CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers, Monday, October 17, 2022. Ashley reveals that she will be taking on the task of tracking down Tucker and keeping Jack and others informed. She pretends to be his mistress, leaving all important information. Jack warns Ashley that Tucker is no fool. He knows who's good to him and who's bad, so don't expect him to take advantage of Tucker. Nate informs Elena and everyone that he will start a life of his own. If anyone wants to interfere in that life, they must be responsible for themselves. Ashley's afraid that Dominic is Abby's weak point and that she will be hit for it. Tucker's a man who specializes in exploiting the enemy's weaknesses and exploiting them. If Abby couldn't keep her cool, she would fall into Tucker's trap. But as Ashley's lover, will Tucker dare to take Dominic away? If he's not afraid that his girlfriend will be sad, Tucker's Dominic's grandfather, it doesn't matter at all. So as long as Tucker wants it, it's fine. He has the right to visit the boy at any time, just to make sure he doesn't fight for custody with Abby. Nate convenes an emergency meeting of Billy, Lily, and Devin to announce that he will be the new boss of Chancellor Winters and wants everyone's support. Lily and Billy are not satisfied, but they decide to withdraw from this company. Although it's a gift from Jill, but Lily feels that her ability to lead a company is still poor. She's only suitable for the job just to be an assistant. Billy backed out of this because he wanted to focus on Jabbit. He's trying to beat Adam for the position of CEO Jabbit. Adam wasn't the one to appear here, but was chosen by Jack. Nate felt that everyone looked down on him, and he was very sad. He was helpless, but there was nothing he could do. He only knows about hugging Elena and crying, speaking out his feelings. Nick has never felt comfortable falling in love with Sally, but he pretends to be, despite knowing that Adam and Sally have a dinner date, but Nick is still happily waiting for Sally to return. He wants to ask clearly where his relationship with her is currently stopped, and why are they not being honest with each other, but pretending for what? Adam and Sally have always been like that. They were made for each other, and nothing can separate them. The accident that Sally caused is long gone. Adam should boldly forgive her, and now Nick wants to know if Adam is right. The question is, does anyone else know?